Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Cave. You've caved. You've caved, <laughs> but I haven't. Well, I have, kind of. Let me explain. Because of kernel level energy, I don't think we will ever be able to play the shooters like Apex Legends, Delta Force and Battlefield 6 on Linux. And I have come to terms with that fact. I have spent some time looking into it as per my two videos on the subject. And I have resigned to the fact that if you want to play these games, you have to compromise. In this video, I will show you how I have compromised. Linux Fedora is my home. It's my daily driver and will never be replaced by Windows. The end. Thank you so much for watching. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I need to deliver what's on the thumbnail and the title. Okay. As you would have seen in my previous video on the subject, I moaned a lot about Battlefield and how it just doesn't work on Linux. And I was pissed off that no one was shouting about it. I read some of the comments in that video and I kind of felt bad as I have access to Battlefield 6 and others don't and I was kind of taking it for granted. So I sat down and I started to think how can I take advantage of the early open access without compromising my main system because I really do not want to dual boot. Hmm. I had a thought. I recently built a test PC from the leftover bits and bobs from me and my son upgrading our PCs. All I needed was a case and a power supply. And I managed to get that for very little cash. And I was able to get up and running. To be honest, I had planned to create a series on testing different distros, but thought so many have already done it and they've done such a great job doing it. And to be honest, editing that shit is gonna take ages. Anyway, I digress. So then I think maybe I could just install Windows on that machine and run it from there. I mean, I could get a KVM so I can use my favorite keyboard and mouse, but I really couldn't justify the extra cost. I was already using Parsec for my Mac, so I thought I'd give that a go. So Parsec is a remote desktop application designed to provide low latency, high performance remote access to a computer, primarily for gaming and professional tasks. That's the marketing spiel. Now I was using no machine before, but I had a horrible experience with it and I'll cover that in another video at some point. So Parsec is supposed to be really good over the internet. On a 2.5 gig network, it should run pretty flawlessly. So I decided to go for it. I go through the Windows install process and hit an immediate roadblock. You need to be on the internet to create an account. I do the Google thing, find out how to bypass it and then I create a local account. Brilliant. But then I thought, well, I've been doing loads of moaning about all of the ads and the privacy and the spying and the telemetry. How can I deal with that? So I started to look at some of the debloat tools and came across one called Talon. Now Talon rips out all of the crap you don't need and it's pretty good. I'll put a link for that in the description and for Parsec. Now I rarely use EA or Epic on my Linux box. So I thought, you know what, I'll just, dis I'll just install those launches on the bastardized PC. And they're the only things that I've got on there that require credentials. It's sort of all starting to come together. So now I've got a PC built, Windows 11 installed, bloat deleted, EA installed, Battlefield installed, and then I hit play. But I hit another roadblock. You need to enable secure boot to play this game. Ah, yeah, of course, forgot about that. So I reboot, set secure boot in the BIOS and log back in. I hit play and we get into the game. Yay! Now, for some reason, my secondary keyboard didn't work and my really old spare keyboard is just horrible. It's like there's like trampoline underneath each finger. It's horrible. It really is horrible. There was no way I was playing with that. So I immediately installed Parsec and I get that up and running. Finally, I get to play my first game of Battlefield 6 and Parsec did a great job but there were a bunch of artifacts very obvious ones too so i switched back to the pc itself and checked some settings based on the parsec website i tried again and now it was pretty good very playable it's all right it's just another battlefield but with better graphics i'm still not buying it so i'm sat here now writing this script thinking why why did you go to all this trouble all I'm doing is using a second PC. That's nothing major. To be honest, I think it's because I wanted to know if I could run games from my Linux session, and it turns out I can. I will rarely use the PC and rarely play games on it, unless I get addicted to Delta Force or Apex again, of course, but I don't think I will. And big reveal time, this whole gameplay that you've seen here is me playing 
Battlefield through Parsec connected to my second PC. Pretty cool, huh? One thing I did have a problem with is getting the sound to record through OBS. Now I could hear it when I'm playing, but it didn't record, hence music over the, the, the footage. So <laughs> there we go. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you in a position where you can use a second PC for this? Will you be dual booting? Tell me what you're planning. Are you just going to just say, fuck it, I'm not going to play. Anyway, you guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one.